the grim side of the Canadian winter turns the ride into a battle against the elements. Today was the longest leg we had, 525 kilometers. Out of the 525 kilometers, I think maybe five kilometers were not covered with some kind of snow or ice. There was a thick layer of ice and snow on the road and it was all rutted. Uh, trucks had been over it with their chains on and just made huge ruts in the road which made riding the bikes probably some of the hardest riding I think that they've done to date. On the bright side, the historic Alaska Highway rewards them with scenic mountain passes and buffaloes running next to the motorcycles. One of the great things about today is we saw a lot of wildlife and I think it was much needed. I think we've all been waiting to see wildlife and that was just awesome. Starting in Jack London's legendary Dawson City, the team heads for the Dempster Highway, riding over mountain ranges and the grueling vast emptiness of Canada's tundra. Frequent sightings of wildlife perfect the breathtaking scenery of the Yukon Territory. Paul was saying that he had tears in his eyes, it was so incredible and I kind of feel the same way. You just wanted to stop and look at it every five minutes. But the hardest part of the trip is still to come, the second ice road to the far north. We had a lot of wind. We had uh, an obscene amount of wind, you know, sort of at the midway point or a bit before that, and uh, brought the temperature down to minus 47. It was cold. There's no question it was cold. Within 10 kilometers, I, I already knew, holy oh, crap, this is going to be cold. I mean, within 10, 15 clicks, I mean, I could feel it in my toes and my fingers. And things got even worse for Paul. So basically, the last, the last 50 kilometers of the trip, I did not finish because of one single fall. So. But I'm happy we made it to Tukliaktuk. I'm really happy Joe could ride the whole ice road. I'm really pissed I didn't. Paul's fall on ice a bitter experience, but also an example how the team pushed their bikes and physical abilities to the limit. But it's been draining. It's been extremely draining on everybody, and I think more so than any one of us probably would have thought. Paul, Joe, and Flora head back to the south. In their minds, the incomparable yet treacherous beauty of the Canadian Arctic and a once-in-a-lifetime experience.